Hi, this is Jacob Anderson. This is the fourth short video showing you a teardown of a headstock, what you need to do to be able to get to this belt here and to uh, evaluate your bearings on the drive sleeve and in the quill. So uh, we've removed the belt cover, we've removed the motor with its switch, we've removed the speed control, I have videos on each of those, and we've removed the idler shaft with the control shift. So, the headstock is pretty empty, except for this upper shaft here. So we have to remove a circle retaining clip here. Just kind of have to feel around for the end of it. It spirals out of here. And the set screw stopping the quill from extending is buried under putty. Usually, so we have to uncover that. So I use a dental pick to primarily start digging with. Okay. Okay, so I've got the putty out of there pretty good. So now with the Allen wrench, I can remove this set screw. so that I can take the quill all the way out. Alright, so now I can extend the quill. You can use the quill as a jack to push the drive sleeve out if the drive sleeve is cooperative. That's the elegant way of doing it. Alright, I'm going to show you the other way. <laughs> Alright, so I can take the quill all the way out. Remove the tension on the spring very carefully here. Alright, make sure the belt is totally up out of the way. So, this is another way to take it out. Have the quill out of the way. Use a long rod into the, the drive sleeve socket. And you can just hammer. to do all that just to get to this belt and you can see how damaged that belt is it's just really ragged I replace any belt over 25 years old or if there's any damage in that one it's clearly both and here's the drive sleeve and this bearing here barely turns that one's very rough so we'll evaluate all that the bearings the condition of the drive sleeve itself see how it interfaces with the quill or if there's any damage there. So now everything, all the primary components are apart so that we can do the belt changes. So that's four steps to get to that. Alright, so here's my website address. You can go there for tons of information. You can send in your headstock for re rebuilding. You can send in components for evaluation or rebuilding. Uh, you can buy the repair parts that I sell. My full length DVDs that tells you a lot more detail about all of these components and how to do it. Uh, instructions, you know, all sorts of information there. Access to my web store. So please take a look at my website. Thank you.